Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Um, I think there's a perception that black people commit the majority of crimes in the United States. Uh, one comment I received on my Only Whites Can Stand Your Ground video was that uh, black people commit seven times more crimes than white folks do. And there were several other comments along those lines. So I found the Justice Department statistics for arrests for the year 2008. Now in the violent crime categories, here are the percentage of white people arrested. Murder, 48.9%. Rape, 63%. Robbery, 46%. Aggravated assault, 64%. Burglary, 68%. Larceny theft, 64.9%. Vehicle theft, 58%. Now, if you add in corporate crimes, the percentage of white people goes way up. But in corporate crimes, um, very few people receive jail time for them. For one, it's hard to assign uh, blame to any one particular individual. And, uh, and those trials are usually... Uh, and in uh, fines being levied. So, for example, you have the Koch brothers who over the years have been convicted of repeatedly illegal dumping, illegal pollution, uh, theft from Indian tribes, and various other crimes, and yet neither one of the Koch brothers ever, ever spent a day in jail. And as far as violent crime goes, uh, it would appear that uh, poverty, not race, is the main driver. So what accounts for the disproportionate number of black people in our jails and prison? Well, first of all, there are sentencing disparities. Blacks and Latinos, in general, receive sentences that are 10 to 23 percent longer than white people do when they're convicted of the same crime. And second is that good old war on drugs. Drug offenders outnumber all other prisoners in our judicial system. And even though blacks and whites are convicted of drug crimes at the same rate, blacks are ten times more likely to be incarcerated than white people are. White people tend to get sent to drug diversion programs and rehab. Now, in the video that I mentioned before, Only Whites Can Stand Your Ground, I quoted statistics from the Innocence Project, and this is not a big enough sample to make a general statement about our legal system. But, in their statistical sample, black people were twice as likely to be convicted of crimes in which they were innocent than white people were. Now, I don't think any race is morally or mentally superior to any other race. And the effects of poverty and poor schools on all children are making the future of this society a little bit cloudy. On my Only Whites Can Stand Your Ground video, I received a, a large number of ignorant comments from white people. And if we were to judge all white people by the comments on that video, well, I have to say this, my folks wouldn't look so good. Thanks for listening.